Breakfast is served. By the looks of it, you'd think they were starving to death. But I promise they're not. They're just going up big and strong. Getting to be big girls. Look at those wings. Won't be long before they'll be going outside. Yay! Morning, y'all. So, there's a big thunderstorm that's supposed to be coming through. And something y'all gotta know about East Tennessee. And I find it comical because we come here from Wichita, Kansas, the tornado capital of the world. <laughs> and uh, these folks get pretty fanatical about storms, rain, snow, anything. And, you know, at first I laughed it off because, you know, I mean, coming from Kansas, this isn't much of anything compared to what we got there. That being said, it is different here. In okay. Kansas, when it snows and it's icy and you slide off the road and go off into the ditch, you're going three, four foot, maybe six or seven, ten at the most. And you're likely to be just fine. Your car probably needs towed out, but you're likely to be just fine. But in East Tennessee, when it's slick and you slide off the road, you're liable to go into a ravine and die. I mean, <laughs> I'm laughing, but it's not funny. I mean, it really and truly is pretty rough stuff. So when the weather gets bad, it don't take much for it to be really bad here. Um, and folks just aren't used to it. You know, they're used to this. They're used to beautiful, green look at how green that is this is february no i'm sorry this is march 1st y'all and it is green out here back home it's still looking like day of the dead you know so uh but anyway as you can tell look i got a pine branch down you know the wind's blowing let me show you the trees the wind's blowing okay I'm looking at my little plums, thinking that I wish I had uh, secured them down with ties, but it looks like they're doing just fine. Looks like they're gonna be a-okay. But uh, anyway, we're just gonna get everybody prepared and you know, rather to be over-prepared than not prepared enough. And um, this is our first year on the hill. And I'm just gonna call it that from now on. This is the hill, okay? So, uh, <laughs> Um, I'm a little worried about my greenhouse. I'm not sure if it's gonna survive if the storm is actually as bad as they say it's gonna be. Which I dare say it might because I'm at the chicken coop and they're all inside. That's never a good sign, is it? So let's see what's going on. And put some feed and water inside and just go ahead and close them up for the day I know they're not gonna like it but I would rather err on the side of safety and know that all of my people are okay all right so I'm bringing in a little bit of food and water and I'm gonna go ahead and shut everybody up in here so that they'll be safe but I wanted to check and see and there's a green egg I have not had one of these green eggs in over a week and I used to have the green eggs every other day but that hen yesterday I'm telling y'all I knew it I knew it anyway this just confirms and it actually makes me feel a little bit better about the decision that I had to make so all right y'all come on back inside so that we can get you closed up and safe for the day Come on. Everybody inside. Here, let's bribe them. Come on, guys. 
bribe them with food. <laughs> Just like men, bribe them with food. <laughs> go on, guys, go on in. Go on in. Shoo, shoo, shoo. Shoo, shoo, shoo. Go on in. Go on in. Go on. Go on. Go on, Charlie. Go on. Shoo, shoo. Uh -uh. All right. Got the pine branch moved, so it's put away. Y'all, I have not forgot that I plan to do a video on uh, what I'm doing with these pine branches. So um, I have a couple of ideas of the different crafty things that I'm gonna do, and uh, I'll probably get to them real soon. I wanted to let the um, branches dry out pretty good for a bit first, so hopefully it would uh, reduce the amount of pine sap that there is in there because you know that stuff is really sticky and gross so you don't want that on your crafty stuff <laughs> gotta go up and check on the rabbits make sure that they're good hannah takes care of them pretty well but you know she's just a young and so i go in behind her sometimes and double check to make sure that everything's good to go and uh you know her little bucket's gonna go all over the place she leaves it like that <laughs> So, let's do this. There we go. That'll hold it all right. Hi, babies. Are you going to be okay? Hi, Josie. You see the uh, bedding that they pull out of their boxes? They just don't go in there very often. They're big, fluffy Angora bunnies. And uh, they actually kind of like the wind and the the warm or the cooler weather so hi babies let's see if i can get in there without the grate in the way but i can't so anyway oh you guys so fluffy you're so fluffy hi harley hi josie look at this y'all my little pumpkin he's done popped out of his seed check it out isn't that cool i'm gonna leave that sit right there that's cool Look at him. Very nice. And my watermelon, he's coming up too. That's so awesome. And look here, those little uh, trial packs. I see right there, I got a little tomato coming up. You see it? So cool. I haven't seen anything yet from that cucumber, but hopefully we'll see. And then, Y'all, I got stuff piled up everywhere. I got all this seed starting stuff piled up because I have got to get on it. I got these extra trays, so I got to get some dirt in there and get these seeds planted. I got these from a friend of mine. There's some uh, pumpkin. There's cucumber. No, no. No, that's not right. There's pumpkin. There's cantaloupe. And then there's mustard seed. So I got that from her, and, and I'll have to get that started. And then she sent me some uh, okra pods. So I'm gonna pull seeds from them and get them planted too. So the storm is starting to roll in y'all. And I just gotta say something. Look at the cowardly little lion hiding out in his bed. <laughs> Poor dude. Poor dude. He is the biggest coward when it comes to the weather. He just can't stand it. He says, oh, no. Oh, Mom. It's so scary. It's so scary, isn't it, dude? <laughs> isn't it scary, buddy? Poor thing. Hey, while I've got you, I realize I haven't shown an update of the girls today. Hello, girls. Hi, dear. Hello, babies. Look at them, so curious. Their wings are getting big and pretty. Layla is still very serious about her babies. She's still the mama hen. <laughs> Isn't that right, Layla? She says, don't mess with my babies. Isn't that right, dude? So, I went ahead and put the chickens away for the day. The storm is supposed to be here pretty much all day long. And, uh, you know, I don't want to take a chance on anybody getting hurt or anything like that. So... I put a little food and water in the coop and closed it up, so we'll just go ahead and leave them up for the night. And um, I did a walk through around the property, and everybody's good. Mr. Sullivan actually came home from work for just a minute to uh, anchor down the little plum trees 
so looks like they're gonna be just fine and they were probably just fine anyway but you know it's just a precautionary thing like I said we live up here on the hill and things are different up here even than they were when we lived in town <laughs> so you know we just want to be careful and make sure that everything's okay so that we have as little damage or little loss as possible nothing like a gloomy rainy East Tennessee day huh <laughs> that and I'd like to say that we actually need the rain but we don't really we don't really all right it's time to clean the litter box <laughs> come here babies We got the girls cleaned up and their little apartment tidy and back in order. And all the girls are settled in. Put the lid on to keep them safe and inside. And we're good to go. Good to go. So, I don't know if I showed you guys this, the light stand right here, but um, as you can see, it goes all the way down to the floor, and it actually has a foot that sticks underneath the tub. And so it's got a little plate on the bottom, and it goes underneath the tub to hold it upright and hold it on. And then it goes just high enough, and we can um, clip on and hang on the light, because the girls are getting a little older now, and they don't want it quite so warm and toasty in there. And... Uh, with them being in our office, it stays really warm in here anyways. That heat lamp, man, it really heats up the whole room. So they had to have it up higher, and Mr. Sullivan made that little light pole. <laughs> so it actually works out really well, and it makes me feel better about the idea of a heat lamp being on. So it's secured up there really well, and the dogs aren't allowed in here without me or Mr. in here. So I'm not worried about them knocking it over. And that light pole is pretty sturdy all by itself, so there's no chance of it falling over in the middle of the night. So that makes me feel a lot better. Alright y'all, this day is winding down, and I couldn't be happier. <laughs> I've got a lot of cooking left to do for the day. I've got a couple loaves of bread to make for a customer's order, and I'm baking the chicken that I called yesterday. So, uh, yeah, let's get to it. Whew, what a long day. We, um, we didn't get the storm of the century like we thought we were going to get. Uh, we did get a lot of wind, and we got a lot of rain, and um, the school sent the kids home about 10 o'clock this morning. 
So a little bit was home by the time the storm actually hit. Um, everything survived okay. The greenhouse survived all right, which I was a little bit concerned about. Anyway, we got um, we got the chicken cooked for dinner tonight, and uh, I made a couple loaves of bread for my customer's order, and a couple loaves for us too, so we don't have to worry about getting bread from the store. And um, you couldn't find a single loaf of bread in this entire state, I doubt. <laughs> when the storm comes in, the toilet paper, the milk, and the bread are gone. I have absolutely no idea what folks do with those three things together, but that is the staple items that they pull out from the store. Anyway, I've got a new batch of kombucha brewing on the counter, and um, I'm ready to hit the hay. So y'all have a good night.